Welcome back, it's your boy Fresh. And I'm Mary, and we are at Quapa of Nerds, and today we're going to be unboxing our May 2020 Retro Game Treasure. So, for those of you who don't know what Retro Game Treasure is, it is a monthly subscription surface where you... Surface. Um, surf, sur service. Where you send in... Uh, when you originally sign up, you send in a list of all the games that you have for the systems that you want um, to receive games for. And um, then they will send you every month, they'll send you three to five games for those systems. They'll update your list automatically so you don't have to, to let them know what games that you've received so you don't get duplicates. And you can always update your list if you buy anything outside of the subscription service. Alright, so this is our disc-based service. So we got PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, GameCube, Xbox, and 360. Mm -hmm. PlayStation 3... Uh, we left off this one. Ready? Yep, ready. Feel heavy? No. No. It doesn't feel heavy. So what's your? It bet? feels medium. It doesn't Three feel light either. I'm gonna say four. Four. I wanna I'm say four. A, I'm gonna say. Let's see. I think four is right now. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, bubble wrap there. It's the big boy bubble wrap. Yeah. This one feels like it is new in box. Huh. Shrink, shrink wrapped. Yeah, it's still shrink wrapped. Hmm. I don't know how much you like these. It's first this person. Is it shrink wrapped? It's not. Oh, it felt like that, I guess. <laughs> so this is Battlefield Bad Company Two. You're right. I, I'm not crazy about the real world shooters. Um, I like my games a little more fantastical, but uh, got a nine and a half out of ten stars. So yeah, it got really good reviews. I heard. Yeah, but. I'm not sure. I think it has a yeah intense solo campaign. So some of those are online only, but it doesn't look like that one is. So that's good. I think it helps with aging of the product so like when it's pretty much only online as it ages then yeah the online community gets really small yeah and so it's nice to be able to pull out a game that's really old and still be able to play it mm -hmm. okay next one this one really is shrink wrapped okay maybe you grab this one first maybe so. i don't know i can um hmm. okay Defiance. Another 360 game. This. Uh, huh. I don't know anything about that one. A massive co-op gameplay. 
Well, there you go. Xbox 360. This. This may be online only. Mm. It does say Xbox Live on the back. Yeah, it says uh, 10 gig storage and Xbox Live Gold membership required, sold separately. Online only. Mm. R360 has been retired from online. The uh, little uh, wireless modem it has, it, it's busted. So, unfortunately, we won't be able to utilize that. Is the Xbox One backwards compatible? It, it, sometimes. Because so, we do have an Xbox One. Yeah, that one's hooked up online. So we, and, and maybe it is. Maybe I'll look that up. That's good. That's a good thought. We'll have to see. Our estimation was correct. There are four okay. names. Okay. Good. Okay. Put my whole reputation on for that. Okay, I'm excited about this one. Okay. I'm excited about this one. Spyro, enter the dragonfly. In their tracks, hope that purple dragon don't come back. Don't come back. Pack up the sheep and close the barn door. He ain't just a fire hazard anymore. Pack up the sheep and close the barn door. He ain't just a fire hazard anymore. So this is um, the PlayStation bounced back and forth. Or no, I'm sorry, not PlayStation. Nintendo. Was it originally made for PlayStation? I feel like it was originally on PlayStation. I'm not sure. Um, this one's for Nintendo GameCube. Yeah, so this one is uh, this is a platformer um, where you play as this cute little dragon that mm -hmm. can breathe fire, I think. Or breathe something. I think our kids might enjoy that one. Yeah, this one. Fortunately, it's not complete, but it is a GameCube case. So uh, that's a good one. I'm happy with that one. And the last one. I guess I'm not sure I know about this. <laughs> this one's a little bit tougher. Yeah, Tekken 4. That's, so that's a uh, fighting game.
様から全てを取り戻す死に損ない身。So uh, that was a that was a big this is a big series there for a long time and I think it's still going to this day so uh, that's awesome I, I like fighting games even though I uh, I do okay with them I can typically master the moves of like one character and then just spam the heck out of that character so this is my order what do you think most excited least excited. Um, I am most excited about Spyro. Yeah. We never played Tekken 4. We never played Tekken. No, I don't. So, uh, from least excited to most excited, we'll go, uh, Defiance. Defiance. We probably won't be able to play that game. It also says it's better with the Kinect sensor, and we don't have a Kinect sensor. And then Battlefield Bad Company 2. Spyro, Enter. The Dragonfly, and finally Tekken 4. <clears throat> so that'll do it. Let's uh, lace up the gloves and do some Tekken fights. <laughs> you ready? Sounds good. Okay. What does a loser have to do? Hmm. Cook dinner, I guess? Alright, Lizzie cooks dinner. Because I already cooked dinner anyway. Ah, uh, who cooked dinner tonight? <laughs> so Me. I'll just I might I cook it. dinner. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye, thanks. Don't forget to give us a like, a subscribe, and follow us on Facebook under a Coopal of Nerds. Hey pumpkin. Yeah. How short are them shorts you're wearing? <laughs> Too short to be worn in public. Trouble. Why don't you give me space?